WWM here, and uh, the Viking gods have heard our cries. The lions have come back. So I'm going to kill a heck of a lot of them, and we're going to get some good data off of these guys. So I'm going to kill, you know, uh, nine or ten of each. Uh, put it all in a nice little spreadsheet and come up with some good numbers, figure out the best ratio for material and uh, best ratio for um, uh, gems as well. Figure out which one is best to attack, uh, the, the ratio between energy spent and the amount of return that you get on it. So I'm going to fast forward through like a heck of a lot of this and then I'll see you at the end of the video. So here we are at the end. Ridiculous. Uh, I ended up spending almost 400,000 energy or something like that, something crazy. But it's worth it, guys. We got our numbers. So let's take a look. All right, so I'm going to give you the lay of the land. Here's my different uh, data points, the one through six, the ones that I killed. This is the total number. Uh, the average and then the ratio so this ratio what it tells us is uh, it takes 26 points of energy to get one material and then this one is uh, 12.8 energy to get one gem and then of course the VIP points in the gold you go down you can see that the ratio between 5 is about uh, 28 versus the ratio of a 6 which is about 26 so there isn't much of a difference here guys uh, you know it's a little better as it probably should be but it's not it's not horrific uh, and I still stand by the fact that if go up you know your your skill level 5 tree and then wait uh, level up some of the other things, your skill costs, things like that before you go back and finish up Invader 6. I think it's going to be a lot more time and resource uh, beneficial for you than to try to go and get uh, Invader 6 right off the bat. Interesting note, uh, if you want VIP points in gold, it's more cost effective, especially gold, way more cost effective to go for fives than it is sixes. Uh, I'm not sure why that is. It could just be that, you know, my data points. But, you know, we got some pretty good uh, in numbers because, you know, if you look at the amount of attacks that I had, um, we got a lot of numbers here that uh, I put in this. As we move down, I, I want to show you an interesting point. And that is stay away from threes for whatever reason they cost more than uh, than twos and uh, you can see here twos are about 115 each and 
threes end up going to 142 each. Fours are a great place to be. They have a huge drop here all the way down to 45, and they have a good gem cost too. So takeaway here. Let me get this out of the way. Throw the numbers up here. And this is what we got. So obviously six is the best, as you can imagine, and, and it probably should be. But the ratio isn't that different between six and five. Four is good too. Uh, there's a there's a bigger jump between four and five. Uh, but there's a huge jump between three and 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 four. And actually, uh, stay away from threes altogether. Don't hit threes. They're a horrible ratio all the way around. You're, you're, you're better off hitting twos than going for threes. And, you know, sometimes this happens with developers. They get so big and so many things that they, they miss stuff because they tweak things as they go along, and they, they miss stuff like this. So uh, here we go. And I think we found uh, uh, some interesting data here. Guys, thanks for making it to the end of this video. I know that a lot of it was just fast forwarding. Uh, it took me a lot of time, and I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this. If you like what I'm doing here, give me a like. Uh, if you see some problems with the data, or if you want my spreadsheet, uh, it's open to anybody. Just uh, give me a message, and uh, thank you very much for watching my video, guys.